Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profit Acquisitions Team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 34. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about adding pay page template for front end page. If I back to browser, so far we had completed about the create and list operation of book self as well as create a list operation for the books. Remember, while when we had discussed about activator and deactivator hook, then in that video we had seen that how can we create a page on plugin activation. And this is the page we have created called book tool. So if we click on this page and open into a new tab, so this is the page we have created. So right now as we can see that inside this page we have a header as well as we have a footer and inside this we have some content now if we want to customize the layout of this page so how can we define our own custom layout for this book tool page so inside this video we will see that how can we customize the layout or let's say that we are going to give our, our own page to this book tool page Back to editor. Now if I go inside this includes folder, open up the activator file and inside this activator file, this is the page we have created and inserted into our WP post table by the help of this WordPress function called WP insert post. Now we are going to add a page template for this book tool page. So if I go inside this public folder because as we know that this is our front-end page. This is not admin panel page. So we need to add if we want to add something the page template for this book tool. So we need to do all the operations inside this public folder. Because all the sections of admin should go inside this admin folder. But this time we are going to do something with the public page so we need to go inside this public folder so open up call if you go to the includes folder open up the main file and inside this we have called define admin hooks this is what we have seen for the admin panel now this time we need to add our action hook inside this define public hooks so inside this let's say that filter for page template so we need to add list this loader add underscore filter we have a filter to actually implement or add our own custom layout to any of the WordPress page so let's say page underscore template now this is the filter hook inside this now we are going to pass this object and this is the object of the class file of the public page and inside the third parameter I am to pass our method name. So let's say that our own custom page template. Let's say that for now I am going to define only a dummy method. Now this is a plugin public, this is an object of this class and this class is basically inside this public folder and here it is so open up the class file copy the method name what we have defined so I'm to copy the method name go to this class file scroll down and let's say that here it should be public function and here is the method name now inside this I'm to use called the global object of this post as we have seen so far about WPDB as a global object in WordPress apart from our WPDB object we have many more objects also so post is global object is one of them we have a playlist in our channel about WordPress global objects you can see all the available global parameters in WordPress from that playlist. Now inside here, let's say that if post and as we know that we have 
a post name to store all the post slug. And keep in mind that every post in WordPress has a unique post name. So here inside this, let's say that post underscore post name. And the post we are looking for are the post name something book underscore tool because for this page actually we are going to give our own custom layout. So let's say that for now and to provide a simple message so let's say this is my own page template for book tool and let's do die here now if we save all these changes for this page and also the for this page and uh, for this page we haven't done anything all two files will be responsible this is our includes folder where we have added a filter hook inside this define public hooks as well as we had defined this method inside the class file of this public folder that's all done if I back to browser so now this is our layout now if I reload this page now as we can see that instead of the defined layout we have now our own message this is my own page template for book tool so right now we have supplied only a static message so apart from a static message if we want to add our own template so we can add in place of this custom message so let's say that page underscore template equal to and if I go inside this main root plugin file and here we have defined a constant to include the PHP files so if I copy this constant go inside this page so I'm going to concatenate it will go inside this public folder inside this public folder we are going to go inside this partials folder and inside this partials folder let's say that and to define a page inside this partials folder and this file is something let's say book tool layout dot php and I'm going to include this page here so let's say book hyphen layout book tool hyphen layout dot php and I'm going to return that template so let's return page template so go inside this file and here if I write inside this h4 tag so let's say this is my custom layout so if you save all these changes now this time we have added a PHP file and this PHP file is called inside this method what we have defined inside this page template filter to, so go to front end, reload this page and this time we have a h4 tag so it means that if we want to do any code of our front end page so we need to supply all the code inside this so let's say that I'm going to use the WordPress function called get header by calling this function it includes the WordPress header so let's say that to include WordPress header also I want to include our footer as well so we have a function called get footer to include WordPress footer now in between these two functions if I write let's say s3 tag and simple message for this page now if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page now as we can see that we have successfully implemented or added about the header of this WordPress footer of this WordPress and here our custom message so inside this video session guys actually we had seen that how can we add our own custom layout for our created book page so keep in your mind the first step is to add this filter hook called page template inside this add filter we have to pass a method name 
by the help of this method name we have done something remember this is our post slug of our created page if suppose we do any mistake then it is not going to read that layout because this is our post slug after reading this post slug we have included a page template and returned here and inside this page we have simply called two php functions not actually php these are wordpress functions so here are the functions called get header and get footer to include wordpress headers and here is our custom message so these are the simple steps by the help of these step by step concept we can implement our own custom layout for the created wordpress pages so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day